Seismic cropping is part of data optimization process. We can crop 3D seismic data by, redu by reducing the volume in X, Y, or Z domain. The main purpose from cropping seismic is to reduce the amount of available data, as it also allows for faster computing. First, we need to generate virtual cropped volume. So we go to display the outlines of seismic cube in 3D window, like this window here. We show in line and next line. Now we come and click on the outline of X line or of the cross line or N line and right click. And we go to insert virtual cropped volume. We click and the new survey, which is the cropped seismic cube will be displayed in the input pan. There's another way to generate the, uh, cropped, uh, the virtual cropped uh, volume is to go to the original survey, right click and go to insert virtual cropped volume. Now what we will do is that we will work on this uh, cropped version. So I go to this one, to a cropped volume and start working. Now, there are three ways to crop seismic. First one is to go to the arrow tool here, okay, from the uh, menu, m menu from, from the toolbar. And you can see that there are green handles showed in the corners it's where I can move where I can move these handles up and down to the zone of, of interest that I where I want to work on. I can move the seismic up and down as I crop and get the zone of interest that I want. <coughs> you can see that you can move it X, Y, and Z direction as well. Okay, there's another way is that you can go you can go directly to the uh, 3D survey, which is the cropped virtual volume. Right click, go to setting, and go to cropping. Okay, from here you can choose. You can you can set the uh, their, uh, the inline and cross line ranges that you want to display by changing the symbol from and to. Okay, for example, we want to display from 500 uh, in line from 530 to let's say uh, 740 or 735. And we click apply. You can see that the impact uh, uh, on the volume. And the same goes for the cross line and also the vertical time range. In the skip cells, you can put the number and specify the numbers that you want the software to uh, the, the number of the inline or the cross line that you uh, want cropping process to skip when the when when the process uh, uh, starts. The third way is that we use what's called the inspector tool, and you can find it here in the home uh, in the uh, uh, home tab. So you can click. Now this is the inspector tool window. Okay, if you click, if you come and click on the side, you can see that your coordinates and all the other uh, uh, data changes from in line to, uh, to uh, in line to another or cross line to another. You can come to the crop control and choose in line or X line you, that you uh, that you want to. Uh, uh, crop for example you want to change the, uh, the uh, for, for, we want, uh, for, from 200 from uh, 205 to 190 and we enter and you can see that the uh, the cropping process uh, uh, is done you can do the same for x line also in the uh, in z direction as well now if you learned how to crop seismic in three ways i appreciate if you Click like below this video as more videos will be uploaded. Thank you for watching and keep learning.